Hi everyone, this is Megan from the Toasted Marshmallow Kitchen. In today's video, we're making three super tasty dinners. First up, we're making cheese steak sliders. To a hot skillet, I'm adding in olive oil, and then we'll saute peppers and onions until they have softened. These had been pre-diced and frozen, which helped make this a quick meal to throw together. I'm going to stir in a spoonful of minced garlic and we'll let this cook for an additional minute. Afterwards, the peppers and onions will be set aside. To the same pan, I'm adding in this package of shaved beef from Aldi. This will get seasoned with half a teaspoon of salt and paprika and an eighth teaspoon of black pepper. I'm also going to add in one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and give this a good mix. Once the meat is cooked through, I'm adding back the onions and peppers. Now over to a package of Hawaiian rolls. I'm going to slice them in half so the top is separated from the bottom portion. A layer of mayo will get spread over top the bottom layer of rolls, and then I'm going to move it over to a baking sheet. The bottom rolls will get covered with provolone cheese and then with the meat mixture. Instead of using cheese whiz like the recipe calls for, I'm just adding extra provolone cheese over the top of the meat, and then I'll bring over the top portion of rolls. The butter mixture that's going over the rolls consists of three tablespoons of melted butter, a fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, and a little bit of parsley. This will get covered and go into the oven at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes, and then for an additional five minutes uncovered. These were absolutely delicious and packed a bunch of flavor. These honestly might be my favorite sliders. Now we're making mini barbecue bacon cheddar meatloaves. To a mixing bowl with one pound of ground beef, I'm adding in a fourth cup of breadcrumbs, half a teaspoon of salt, onion, and garlic powder, a lightly beaten egg, half a teaspoon of mustard, a third cup of chili sauce, bacon bits, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and last but not least, shredded cheddar cheese. This will get mixed very well and then get formed into four little loaves, which will go onto a greased baking dish. I'm adding a dollop of barbecue sauce over top each loaf, and then we'll spread out the sauce evenly. This will go into the oven at 425 degrees for about 25 minutes. These were a really fun twist on normal meatloaf. Next we're making pesto turkey burgers. To a mixing bowl, I'm adding in one pound of ground turkey, about half a cup of feta cheese, a spoonful of minced garlic, a dash of salt, two tablespoons of pesto, and half a cup of breadcrumbs. I'm going to combine all of the ingredients together really well and then form the mixture into four patties.
These will cook on a skillet over medium high heat until fully cooked through. These burgers were incredible. The pesto really adds so much flavor and it goes really well with the ground turkey. Thanks for watching. All recipes will be linked in the description box.